my morning starts at 5 a.m. because that's what it takes to live a life of fulfillment and success for me. I don't enjoy waking up at 5 a.m. I'm not one of those people that just shoots out of bed and is excited. So I have to add a little flair to get me inspired. I take time to set the scene. I light candles. I decorate. I make sure the house is clean. I'm someone who can't be productive unless I am in an environment that is creative, clean, and organized. I love fall. And I happen to live in California where there isn't much evidence of it. So rather than taking what was handed to me and accepting it, I change it. Happiness isn't found once you have more of something you think you need. Happiness is found when you prioritize what makes you happy, when you know what makes you happy. You have to know who you are in order to experience happiness. I may not like waking up at 5 a.m., but I love my 5 a.m. mornings. Before the sun is out, I am already prioritizing my health, my organization, my creativity, my to-do list. I always make sure to drink water before coffee. Full glasses of water. This is something I've found wakes me up and I can dive straight into productivity. I can't really drink water without lemon, so you will always see me drink lemon water. Water to me is essential because I find my inspiration around water, whether it's raining, whether it's the shower. So it's important that I bring water inside me. And then, holy coffee. I am tired at 5 a.m. I am not one of those people who jumps out of bed because I'm super excited. I am, however, ambitious, driven, and focused. I choose to wake up this early. Because, quite frankly, I have so much to do in one day. I am a busy, busy woman. I'm in charge of so much running my own business. I happen to also have this creative side to me. And in order to fit it all in, here I am. Freedom for me is waking up early. I can choose to look at my emails or not, but today I'm glad I did because my wedding photos were waiting for me. Let me tell you something, it is easy to be happy on your wedding day when you're traveling to Europe wearing a princess gown, marrying the love of your life. This is happiness. But this is not the only happiness. If I was only feeling happy here, I would miss out on the happy moments here. Knowing who you are is also knowing what you need to prioritize. For me, my home is the most important thing to me. It isn't just a house. No matter where I live, I will always have a home. It will be filled with loving fur babies and expressions of me. A home should be a place that represents who you are, what you want, where you're going, your dreams. It should reflect moments of happiness. Well, the sun's out a little bit more. I'm starting to feel more awake. And it's time to get to business. More coffee. 
I always sit and prioritize and plan my day. I know it takes longer, but in the long run, I am more productive. I will make a list of the top three priorities for my business and personal items. But when I map out my day, when I'm able to physically see what I need to accomplish, I know what's next. I'm not wondering what I need to do. When the afternoon crash comes rolling in, I don't feel it. Because I know what's next and I'm focused. Now the sun is shining through. It's almost 8 a.m. Breath work. This is where I get focused and intentional on what I want to experience that day. Sometimes I'll think about life, where I see myself going in the future, what I want to see happen out of an important meeting, how I want to inspire more love in my relationship, what I want to accomplish that scares me. I get centered and I let my ambition have a voice. And then I organize it. I love moments like this. Sure, the bed gets done, the teeth get brushed. I shower, I do all of that, yeah. But look at him. I prioritize him. Even when we're on important meetings, conference calls, on separate lines, we're still together. I love that. These moments are what make our home us. We can't rush through life and hope that we just have a month in Europe. You have to find happiness here, even when life is busy. We always prioritize each other, no matter how ambitious and driven and busy we are. There is always time for us. And to me, that gives me the why I work so hard. I can't wait for him to come home. And now, it's time to get to work. Thanks so much for watching. For those of you that are new to who I am, my name is Kayla, and I am so glad you are here. I hope you found some inspiration in this video today for my Vlogtober series, and I hope you can I don't know, get some inspiration to bring some fall vibes into your own morning routine. I think one of the most important things in life when you're looking for happiness and fulfillment is to not just let your circumstances control your situation. You really can take ownership. I may live in California where there is not always fall trees and beautiful rainy fog, however, I can still enjoy that fall moment and I can connect to those feelings even if I need to YouTube it on my TV in the morning. It's really important too that we plan moments that we want to experience. So one of the things that I am really, really pushing myself in is the idea of taking time to rest and trusting that I'm still gonna be equally as productive. The funny thing is, the more time I spend kind of savoring the moments that bring me happiness, I'm able to produce such better content. My energy levels are higher. I'm able to work longer or later, or I'm able to work smarter. There's so many 
people I think that get caught up into this like oh I don't think I have the energy to go after the things that make me happy and the reality is you are never going to reach the end of your to-do list you are never going to reach the end of your projects you're never going to like have arrived so it's really important that even if you're a busy busy person like me you really dedicate moments to yourself where you can savor the things that make you happy for me my home is where i feel happiest and so a lot of the things that bring me joy are little moments in home i love setting the candles out decorating for fall having moments where i cuddle with my fur babies i love having moments with nick in the morning sometimes when he doesn't have a meeting, he will sit down and have coffee with me and we'll talk about the week. I think what's really important is we do take time out of the day to really sit down and check in with each other. Every morning since I met him, he has sent me a beautiful good morning text message. And since we have woken up next to each other for you know a really long time now <laughs> he sends that text message when he gets to work and even if he's super busy he will send it i often find love notes around i have one right here right oh we leave each other post-it love notes and i love that because it's the little things that really bring happiness in my day if we're always waiting for a fancy trip to Paris to be happy. Like that's only gonna happen once a year. Or, I mean, if you're looking at my life a couple years ago, like never. And so it's really important to bring moments of happiness and really savor that moment because this is what helps the productivity to bring you to whatever goals you wanna to achieve, to whatever successes you wanna see happen in your life. I think really getting clear on when you're happiest is important. At night, I do the same thing here. I don't put on the rainy forest, but we set the candles, we sit down and have dinner together. We really, really value atmosphere and feeling really good in our home. So even when I am super tired in the morning and I think like, oh, I don't really feel like, you know, taking time in the morning to come w wake up early. Like maybe I could just be happy cuddling Nick and going back to bed. The thing is my day starts off in just a rushed way and I am not the best version of me going forward in my day. And especially when I have client appointments all day and, you know, my clients are trusting me to help them better their lives and to, to reach their life goals, I take that really, really seriously. And so if I'm not showing up in my best version, then you know I'm really doing a disservice to them. So this is something that I do for myself, but I'm also aware that it helps every other aspect of my life. So I hope this can inspire you to make some changes and it doesn't just have to be fall. Fall happens to be my favorite season so I love sprinkling in fall and to be honest um, I will watch rainy forest leaf videos uh, in the summertime too so anyways if you would like to hear more about how I savor the moment I have a podcast episode that I filmed yesterday with my mom and it was all about this I think you would love it you can check out our podcast, The Morning Show with Tracy and Kayla. I will link everything down below. I love our podcast and I love recording with mom. I think that's probably one of my top 10 favorite things to do is record podcasts with mom. <laughs> but what's funny is yesterday we set the same scene. We had the candles, the fire, we had hot beverages, we had blankets, we were very cozy. You know, we had the YouTube on, we had the fire and the fog. And I love that we really appreciate those moments. And honestly, it's not just about, oh, we need to record a podcast, check, check. It truly is. How can we experience this moment together? Especially because we both prioritize this time together and this creation that we have together. So when you are looking at your life and you're looking at the priorities and the things that really matter to you, 
you want to make sure that you're doing everything that you can to bring in more of that moment to your lifestyle, your routines, your day to day. I used to, I wasn't allowed to light a candle in my office in Wall Street, uh, right? But I got some candles that had the LED flicker lights and I had little like lights on my desk. I had, you know, there were so many things that I did to, to bring in some of that feeling. So let this inspire you to sprinkle in some little changes and some moments of happiness to help you experience more of what you really want and what you really value in the everyday lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell and all those things because I don't want you to miss out on any videos and I also really want to be friends. So leave some comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!